Hi, this is Nera Studio with another short Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna be creating this uh, design called, uh, I don't know how to call, but I'm thinking to call uh, Hipsburg Badget in Photoshop, you know? So with the shapes that we created like a couple days ago, I uploaded to my site, so you can just go ahead and download it in here. Well, I uh, explained how to create, how to start creating custom shape for any version of Photoshop, but someone left a message, uh, you know, this is cool, but at the end it says uh, we were expecting more than that uh, video tutorial, so I was thinking you're gonna be creating the projects that you have in Photoshop or you showed in Photoshop. So that's what I decided to recreate this uh, tutorial. So let me just, uh, this is what we're gonna be creating. So let me just go on to Photoshop and I already have my textures, so you can just uh, look up on Google. Those textures I took with my iPhone and also we're going to be using this so you can just uh, use any other texture or just a uh, simple color. So as I said, this is what we're going to be creating and you know it's easy with the shapes that you create or just follow along the video I will be putting in the description. The link, you know, the video how to create the shapes and how to install the shapes and you know, that's not if you're using CS3, CS4 or 2015. I'm using 2015. Actually, so let me just start with the, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do long this video, so I'm just gonna start right away. So the way to, you know, start is just uh, pick the uh, shape tool, and we got a shape panel. You see, this is the shape that I create, so as I said, it's, uh, feel free to download on my side. Those, uh, of course, a Photoshop uh, comes with a lot of shapes uh, built in the uh, for default. But uh, I create this because I'm, as I say, the last, uh, I mean, the video that I uploaded a few days ago, those shapes is uh, concentrate to using After Effects and Premiere. So that just keep in tune, it will be working in After Effects, of course. And that's why I create those shapes. I, I know you might think it's nothing interesting, something like, I don't know, basics or, I don't know, but you will see how we can use an After Effects and how it becomes really handy and helpful. All right, so let me just close this. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this, so it has a name also, so I'm just um, Vintage, I call this Vintage Frame. So I'm just, uh, you know, uh, holding down, I should just click this, holding down Shift uh, Option will be Shift Alt and PC, so I'm just drag. Uh, you know, actually, you know what, let me just go back and make sure uh, to have the shape not pattern for this we're gonna be using the shape and we just uh, as I say uh, shape option you know I'm just drag okay there we have and then we might need to align to the center so you know command A to select and then just align to the center make sure the uh, selection tool is uh, selected the next step is uh, to duplicate this we're gonna duplicate two I mean one more so I'm just uh, hold it on command J or just uh, drag into the uh, new layer and you will be duplicated the layer. Once we have this, also we need to create a uh, circle in the center. So just hit the uh, shape tool, make sure uh, we got the elliptic tool, and then just drag, uh, as I said, just holding on Shift Alt and PC, Shift Option and Mac. So right there, actually, maybe right there. And also we might need to change the color, so just make sure we have the circle in the middle. So the way to change is double click the layer and we can change the color. We're gonna just, uh, for now, we're gonna change any color. And also we need to align to center, so as I said, uh, Command A to select and then just uh, align to the center. And there we have, I think it's a little bit uh, small, so let me just uh, free transform the shortcut, this command T uh, will be control T and PC, of course, and just holding down our shift option and just uh, scale up a little bit. There you have. So once we have this, we need to create uh, two more circles, so then just duplicate, you know, just command J, one, two, and there we have. And also we might need to change the colors, so then just uh, put this green for now. And this we might need to put um, red maybe. Okay, of course we don't see anything because we have to uh, uh, scale down. So the next step is go to my uh, shape uh, panel again, make sure the shape tool is selected. And then we need to have this banner also, that's what I create. So and just uh, for you to make easy, create those designs so then make sure the uh, background is selected because we, have, we want this all behind the Object, so let me just uh, drag this uh, across right there, and then we might need to align the center, of course, and just uh, select and then align to center. And there we have, and then we might need to do is uh, duplicate this also one, then just uh, 
Command J and then just uh, free transform control T and then just scale down a little bit maybe there and from the top to bottom also we need to scale down a little bit all right and then we might need to change this uh, this one and on the bottom we need to change the color if you're gonna use the same color so just keep the uh, I mean copy the values I got this or we'll call um and this we gonna change to white maybe yes white and also we need to go and hit the U that's the um, shape tool shortcut and then just uh, instead of having fill we need to noun noun fill and the stroke we uh, might need uh, white and then also the latest versions if you're using the latest of course and the old version like CS3 you cannot use that I guess I'm pretty sure and so for this one just this uh, lines instead of having that and there we have and well actually you know they have more options that you can just uh, use but uh, for this i'm okay with and then we need to change of course the color of the um this uh vintage or whatever they call so and just uh you know uh, double click and also we need this uh, white and also we need to change this on the top that we have i need to change the color so that we need this same color that we have in here and then we need to free transform and then scale down a little bit they have i'm looking good and then we need to start working with the circles so we need uh three so we need to scale down this uh, there on the top we need to you know free transform and just uh scale down a little bit right there and then just hit enter or return or this check mark so it just uh kick away the uh, free transform and then we might need to scale down this uh, also a little bit so just free transform and then just scale down a little bit okay and also this we need to have um stroke instead of having fill so then just go non fill and the stroke we need a wide as well and the that we might need in uh, using that and they have actually uh, i think we need to let me see i think we need to uh, yeah line to center and they have and my maybe we need to scale down a little bit more so i'm just so this selector you can just go on uh, select and deselect and you see the shortcut is control d um I mean command D and Mac and will be control D and PC of course and let me just uh, uh, you know command T to free transform and then just scale down a little more a little bit more okay there we have and also this um, and behind we need to change the color to a nice color that I use in the uh, main composition or, or document that I have and so the number or the values is you can copy the same if you want to use the same and then hit ok and also we need to add a um, blending option and just add an effect so and go to a blending option panel and we need to add a uh, outer glow and you know so it's a little bit yellow and there you have and then just uh, hit ok and the next step is we need to insert the image i mean the uh, texture inside this um circle so let me just go and make sure the top is selected and just go my texture and drag and drop just hold it down the click and then just uh, drag and drop you know and then we need to insert in the clip so in right click and you can just uh, create clip mask that's one option or the second option is you know just uh, holding down option or alt and pc you see the icon change to uh, the arrow pointing down and there we have the next step is have uh, my shape tool again and go to my shape panel and we can change this kind of like head that i draw and create a shape so that you can use also or you can use your logo as well it's up to you so let me just uh, drag this and then we might need to change the color to a nice that i have with um let me just see okay this is what we want to and also we need to align to center so I'm just go and align to center good once we have this we need to create the us uh, the text of course so I'm just go and pick the shape tool again when in this case we're gonna use a ellipse tool and make sure instead of having 
shape we're gonna have a path and make sure you select and have a path and just this like this and just um drag you know a little circle hold it on shift option shift alt and pc and just uh, maybe right there and then when you just uh, type the text you know that's the way to have a text uh, around the shape or around the path so I'm just call Nera studio company you can put anything you want okay and then we might need to change the color as well so let me just go and change the color the same that we have in the head or logo whatever you have on and then just um go and take off maybe we can just leave with the uh, line uh, and also we might need to go let's see Arial. so I think let me see regular okay and I think a little bit more big no so let me just go uh, 25 and see uh, no 30 okay and let me just uh, see good I guess let me just go 30 okay there you have and let me just take this away because I don't like that okay and the next step is uh, you know another text so and just go and type this uh, blush all right it was in 2011 my website came out then just put this and also we might need to change the uh, you know the um, okay maybe this okay and I think that's all for today hopefully we not missing yeah we missing the the particles so let me just add a particle just add a new layer and hit the B as a boy that's the shortcut for the particles and just uh, pick the nice um you know uh, brush that comes with Photoshop and also the size with the brackets key we can just increase and decrease the size of the brush and also we need to go and go and make a couple settings and you know something thrown in here okay actually you know let me just uh, put in it to okay so let me just uh let's paste a little bit uh, and what else we can do is paste and then just uh, check this out uh, you know and just uh, go also and shape dynamic and play with jitter and the scattering you can play around with those you know and then see actually yep and I think a little bit smaller will be cool and just also we need to change the color of organ color so just make maybe have the same color that we have and the texture then just uh, you know start all right so and here you can create a mask or simple just uh, pick the uh, razor tool and just uh, you know to make sure have a nice um, raise tool and um, Hardness 100% and also we need to scale up the size so I'm just uh, start uh, raising you know round Alright once we raise the uh, particles around you know we need to use a password down a little bit maybe um, you know maybe 50 60 I don't know it's up to you and then we might need to use or add this couple that drops uh, behind it so let me go the way I create this is make sure the uh, background selecting a new layer and we go you know we need to change the um, of course the uh, color to dark gray and also we need to go to, um you know make sure the uh, size of the I know we're kind of like a spacing maybe yes and also no I don't I don't want spacing so I'm just go and uh, put this uh, shape dynamic I don't want that and uh, then we need to increase the size so I'm just uh, and start adding so I'm just uh, you know and then uh, actually you know what let me pick the uh, hardness and they have so maybe a little bit smaller and 
Once we have this, we can start play with the blending options, uh, maybe multiply, and you see, but I think a screen is better, or overlay. You can play around, you know, so uh, it's up to you. So I have screen, and that's it. There we have our logo design or hipster badge and Photoshop, and uh, you see how easy and how fast we can uh, create uh, designs using the custom shapes. Okay, hope you guys like it. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and be prepared for every week. We'll be uploading a video tutorial every Saturday Sunday. See you next time.